Hey there, investing iguanas. Iggy here, and boy, do I have some exciting news for you. In this video, we're diving deep into the world of government payouts in Singapore for 2024. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on these juicy financial perks. I'll break down the alphabet soup of GSTV, AP, COL, and more so you can understand exactly what you're eligible for and when you can expect those sweet, sweet payouts. So, grab a snack, get comfy, and let's uncover the shocking truth about Singapore's 2024 budget. First up, let's dive into the exciting assurance package enhancements that were announced in Budget 2024. The government is really stepping up to the plate, going above and beyond to support Singaporeans as they navigate the rising cost of living. They're injecting a massive $1.9 billion into the package, which means there's a whole lot of extra cash, vouchers, and rebates headed your way. It's like a financial care package designed to make your life a little easier during these challenging times. One of the most thrilling parts of this enhanced assurance package is the additional $600 in CDC vouchers that every Singaporean household will receive. Just imagine this scenario. You're out and about, perhaps doing your weekly grocery run at your go-to supermarket or treating yourself to a delicious meal at your favorite hawker center. And then, suddenly, you remember that you've got an extra $300 in CDC vouchers to spend in June 2024. But wait, there's more. Another $300 will be coming your way in January 2025. It's almost like going on a shopping spree, except you're using these vouchers for the essentials that you need in your daily life. These CDC vouchers are a fantastic way to support heartland shops and hawkers while also providing some financial relief to Singaporean households. The great thing is, you have the flexibility to use them at participating merchants, hawkers, and supermarkets, so you can choose where they'll make the most impact for you and your family. It's a win-win situation, local businesses get a boost, and you get to stretch your dollar a little further. So, mark your calendars for June 2024 and January 2025, because that's when these additional CDC vouchers will be dispersed. And don't forget, each tranche of vouchers will be split equally between participating merchants slash hawkers and supermarkets, so you can support a variety of local businesses while taking care of your household needs. It's all part of the government's comprehensive plan to help Singaporeans weather the storm and come out stronger on the other side. But wait, there's more. If you're a Singapore citizen aged 21 or older in 2024, you might be eligible for the cost of living special payment. This one-off special payment is part of the Enhanced Assurance Package announced in Budget 2024, designed to help Singaporeans cope with the rising cost of living and economic uncertainties. Depending on your income and property ownership, you could receive a nice little boost to your wallet, ranging from $200 to $400 in cold, hard cash. To qualify, your assessable income for the year of assessment 2023, that's the income you earned in 2022, must not exceed $100,000 and you should not own more than one property. Mark your calendars, because this payment will be dispersed in September 2024. It's the government's way of providing some extra support during these challenging times, and it's definitely a welcome addition to your financial arsenal. So, keep an eye out for more details on how to claim your cost of living special payment, and get ready to enjoy a little extra spending money come September next year. Now, let's not forget about our lower-income households living in HDB flats. If your household doesn't own more than one property, you're in for a treat with the USAVE rebates. In the 2024 financial year, eligible households will receive a whopping 2.5 times the regular GST voucher, USAVE rebates. That's right, you could get up to $950 to help offset those pesky utility bills. This is a huge boost for families who might be feeling the pinch of rising costs. The USAVE rebates are part of the permanent GST voucher scheme and the assurance package, which aim to provide much-needed financial relief to lower- and middle-income households. The best part? These rebates are disbursed quarterly, so you'll get a helping hand throughout the year. On average, the USAVE rebates in 2023 covered about 8 to 10 months of utility bills for households in 1- and 2-room HDB flats, and around 4 to 6 months for those in 3- and 4-room flats. That's a significant chunk of your expenses taken care of. To be eligible, you'll need to have at least one Singaporean owner, occupier, or tenant in your household, and your household members can't own more than one property. So, if you meet the criteria, sit back and let the USAVE rebates work their magic on your utility bills. But what about those who have already received payouts? 
Well, let me tell you, it's been raining vouchers. In January 2024, each Singaporean household got a whopping $500 in CDC vouchers, and just when you thought it couldn't get any better, the government surprised us with another $300 in June. That's a grand total of $800 in CDC vouchers for the first half of 2024 alone. And guess what? There's still another $300 coming our way in January 2025. It's like a never-ending stream of free money. But hold your horses, my savvy investing iguanas. Before you start planning your shopping sprees, remember that these vouchers do have an expiration date. The January and June 2024 vouchers are valid until the end of December 2024, while the January 2025 vouchers will be good until the end of that year. So, make sure you claim your vouchers online via SingPass and spend them at participating heartland shops, hawker centers, and supermarkets before they turn into pumpkins. With $800 in CDC vouchers this year and another $300 next year, that's a total of $1,100 in free spending money for every Singaporean household. It's like the government is giving us a big, warm hug and saying, hey, we know times are tough, but we've got your back. So, let's make the most of these vouchers and support our local businesses while we're at it. It's a win-win situation for everyone. Of course, we can't forget about our beloved senior citizens who have contributed so much to our nation over the years. The government has their backs with the Assurance Package Seniors Bonus, a special scheme designed to provide extra financial support to lower-income seniors. If you're 55 or older and meet the eligibility criteria, you could receive a nice cash payout ranging from $200 to $300, depending on your age and the annual value of your home. This bonus will be disbursed over three years, from 2023 to 2025, giving our seniors a little extra cushion to help with their daily expenses. But that's not all. Let's not overlook the assurance package MediSave top-ups that Singaporeans aged 20 and below, as well as those 55 and above, received in February 2024. These top-ups, amounting to $150 per person, were automatically credited into eligible citizens' MediSave accounts. Now, I know some of these terms might sound like alphabet soup, GSTV, AP, COL, but don't worry, I've got you covered. The GSTV is a permanent scheme to help lower- and middle-income households, while the assurance package aims to cushion the impact of the GST increase. And the cost-of-living special payment? That's just an extra cherry on top to help you manage those daily expenses. So, what does all this mean for you? Well, let's look at a few examples. Imagine you're part of a lower-income household with two young kids. With the Enhanced Assurance Package, you could be looking at around $5,500 in benefits to help keep your family afloat. That's no small change, or maybe you're in a middle-income household, also with two children. You can still expect a nice boost of about $3,000 in benefits. Couple that with the CDC vouchers, and you've got some extra breathing room in your budget. But here's the thing, investing iguanas, while these payouts and vouchers are undoubtedly helpful, it's crucial to remember that they're not a long-term solution. The government is doing its part to support us during these challenging times, but it's up to us to make smart financial decisions and plan for the future. So, take advantage of these schemes, but don't forget to invest in yourself, too. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep striving towards your financial goals. And as always, stay tuned to the Investing Iguana for more tips, tricks, and insights to help you navigate the wild world of personal finance. All right, Investing Iguanas, that's the lowdown on Singapore's 2024 government payouts. I hope this video helped you navigate the wild world of financial benefits and gave you a clearer picture of what to expect in the coming months. Remember, while these payouts are undoubtedly helpful, they're not a long-term solution. It's up to us to make smart money moves and plan for a brighter future. If you found this video insightful, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Investing Iguana channel for more tips, tricks, and financial wisdom. Until next time, stay savvy, stay informed, and keep on investing.